We are in the Microsoft Outlook web app, and I'm going to show you how to create an archive folder. So an archive folder simply is a place to put email that you want to save. You don't want it to be deleted by accident, uh, but you don't want to keep it in the folders that it's in now. So you can easily create this by right-clicking on any folder and choosing Archive. From here, it's going to say, do you want to create a new folder called Archive, or do you want to create a folder, create an archive folder in a folder you already have, and you can click on the different folders to see what's available. Let's go ahead and create a new folder called Archive, and there's our archive folder. So if we want, we can move other email into that but simply by dragging and dropping it in. Now this is not the same type of archive folder that you create in the full version of Outlook or Exchange 2016. What that does is it creates actually a separate section where your archived email is no longer part of your working email. And when you go to search that email, you're not going to see any email that's in the archive unless you specifically search the archive. So what's the advantage of even creating an archive in Outlook and Exchange Server 2016? Well, if you have many, many gigabytes of email, then when you go to search for something, it takes a really long time. So having an archive makes your email still available, but it keeps it out of the search path so your searches are much faster. In the Outlook web app, it doesn't work that way. It's just the same as any other folder. It does not work as a traditional archive, but it is a good place to keep email where you don't want to have it accidentally deleted.